Hello, let's begin the practice exercise of the first part of topic two. In this part, we studied basics of the data structure called array. So our project, which is the third project of this course, concerns how to use arrays. Let's look at the first problem. Create a program that would read the data into array A and find its maximum value and its index. This is our problem. Let us take a look at the, an example of such an execution. Here it is. Let us name the program max.rb. Once that is done and run it in Ruby, the computer will wait for the input. Then, for example, you type in minus 3, 8, 19, and minus 4, and hit enter. The data will go to the computer, which is stored in the array A. Then, computer finds the largest value, which is 19 in this example, and outputs this 19. It also computes the index, that is the location in the array, that this number is kept. In this example, this would be from 0, 1, 2, so the second place. Thus, the computer outputs 2 on the screen. This is the kind of the program we would like to create. We want not only to get the maximum value, but also its index. By the way, for simplifying our discussion, let us assume that the data to enter will be always greater than minus 10,000. This is the overview of the program. In fact, this outline is what we saw in the lecture. As we discussed in the lecture, in this program, we first read and store the data into array, into this array A. Its length is calculated and stored in the variable N. Then, in this part, we will find the maximum value in the array A and its index. The value max, this one, variable max, is used to uh, keep this maximum value. Actually, we use this variable to keep the current maximum value when going through the array A. So we assign minus 10,000 for its initial value here. The variable max j is for keeping the index of the current maximum value. Here, we assign minus 1 to this as a, its initial value, which means that the index is undefined. Then, in this for loop, we go through the array A to update this maximum value and its index. More closely, by changing j from 0 to n minus 1, we examine the j's element of the array A to find the maximum value. This blue part will do this task. Here is a little hint. Consider the j's iteration of this for loop. Let's assume that the variable max keeps the current max value in a0 to aj minus 1. That is, it is the current champion. Then we compare the value of aj and this champion. And if it beats the champion, that is, if aj is greater than max, then we change the value of max to aj, replace it with a new champion value. We also overwrite uh, j into max j for keeping the index of the new max value. Uh, this computation is done in this blue part. Then after going through all elements of the array A, that is after the last execution of this blue part with uh, j equals to n minus one, the value of the variable max should keep the max, max value in this whole array. And the max j should keep its index in the array A. Let's create a program with this thought in your mind. <laughs>